Hi everyone, it's Alina from Eximate Mastery here. And I usually don't talk about what time of year it is, but it is Thanksgiving and I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys out there and hope you have a really, really great holiday with your family and friends. Of course, it goes to you in America. I know we have some Canadians here, uh, but uh, to all my American friends, Happy Thanksgiving and hope you have a really special week. Get some good rest for the upcoming uh, Christmas and New Year holidays. Anyways, what we're going to talk about today is how not to create a room inside a room. So we've already talked about how not to create a room beside a room. Now I'm going to talk about having a room and trying to put a room inside, uh, such as a pantry or maybe a small closet, something to that effect. We're going to talk about that today in this video, what not to do and then how to do it right. So let's go take a look. So let's say this is a bedroom here and I want to add a small closet in this bedroom in order to well qualify it as a bedroom for real estate purposes and of course just how a house is drawn in, in general. But to add a room inside of a room or to add a closet here can be quite tricky if you're not used to using sketch. So the first of course inclination is to go up and grab a room and try to drop it back in there. Now adding a room inside of a room doesn't really work all that well in Xactimate. Um, you can do this left click hold and drag thing and it looks like it's going to work, but in the end, alas, it does not allow the room to be added inside of the room. It really looks like it wants to, but it doesn't do it. So remember that as a rule in Xactimate. You cannot add a room inside of a room. And I know this is kind of progressing maybe to an advanced sort of thought, but that is why your staircase tools here cannot be added inside the room. You have to do some finagling to get these guys to um, appear in your sketch with these staircases. Uh, it's because these staircases are built as a room in itself. You can add it on the exterior, just like we can add a room next door, which we aren't supposed to do. There's actually a better way to do staircases, but I will just tell you, you can add a room next door to a room, but you can never add a room inside of a room. So that's just another thought. If you could remember that as a rule, it also applies to staircases because staircases are technically quote unquote rooms in sketch. So you can't add a room inside of a room. How the heck am I gonna get this closet in here? Well, the easiest way is to go back to that square break tool that we talked about a couple weeks ago. The square break tool is located up here on your, your icon bar. Looks like that snake with a blue eyeball icon or B for break on your keyboard. And what we're gonna do is come in here and break this southern wall. That's where the closet was located. Now you'll notice, let's say that we wanted our closet to be five foot 10. I'm hovering here with my square break tool. That five foot 10 looks super reasonable. I'm gonna left click once to set that square break. Now I've got two handles showing up in my screen and I'm going to create a new room here by using my control key. So just if you've watched my roof videos, I love using the square break tool to create extensions on the roofs. Same thing here, you set the square break, get your handle, hold down your control key and then hover over the handle, which is the blue square, and then left click hold and drag upwards. And that's gonna create our closet. And I want our closet to be two foot six. You can either just create the room and let go, then click in here and type it in. Or if you're one that likes to waste time, <clears throat> meaning I wouldn't do this, you can go ahead and left click hold and drag until you arrive at that dimension. I much prefer to just create the room, click in there, two foot six, and now we have our room dimensions. Now, notice that I set that square break at five foot 10, correct? Well, it subtracted two inches on either side of that square break for a four inch thick wall. So your square break is set on what's called on center. So since we have a four inch thick wall here, the square break is dividing that in half and allowing two inches on either side of the square break for your wall material. So take that into account whenever you're thinking about setting your square break. Or be like me, I'm actually kind of messy and free form. What I do, I just set my square break anywhere because I'm gonna have to go ahead and you know do this finagling anyways. I just set my square break, hold down my control key, create the room, then just use that click on the dimension and type it in 
to get things where they need to be. Rather than trying to do the mental math, which I'm really bad at, especially since this is our, um, we're rounding up to the nearest inch and we're working with feet here. I am terrible at that. I'd much rather just create the room free form, get it created, and then use these handles. Click on the handle, click on the dimension, and type it in. That's really the fastest way that I found to do this. My mind just doesn't work with that on center uh, kind of system. So that's the way that we create rooms inside of rooms. And then of course we could rename this the closet and now we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. The other thing that you can do here is create pantries. So I'm gonna just create a kitchen next door. I can use this wall here, hold down my control key, hover over the handle, left click, hold and drag. Now we've got a kitchen. And if I want a pantry, I can do the same thing. Just square break there. Anywhere that looks reasonable for a small um, three foot by three foot pantry. Hold down my control key, left click, hold and drag downwards. Click in that dimension, hit three for three foot. Use this other handle, be aware of which handle you use. If I used this handle here, it would make a pop out, right? It would create a pop out like this. Um, so we want to be sure which handle we use. So I want to go ahead and move into the room. And so that's going to be three foot by three foot by using this handle. And then we can click on that room name and we've got our pantry. So two different applications of creating rooms inside of rooms. Don't get frustrated, guys. You just got to know which tools to use in Xactimate in order to make your life easier and make this a easy, simple process for you. So just remember, can't place a room inside of a room. But you can use the square break tool in conjunction with the control key to create rooms inside of rooms the way that we did. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this video, please press the like button below. Also subscribe for our updates. We usually release new videos every Tuesday on this channel. For more information on what we do, we train contractors how to use Xactimate. Go visit our website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a great holiday week, guys, and we'll see you next week.